Okay, let's start. You're fine? Yeah. Good? You feel good? <laughs> um, welcome to the training session. Mm -hmm. How to make a short documentary with um, It will be a very, very basic workshop. So um, if you are an expert in video things, you might be bored. So welcome to stay here. <laughs> um, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I'm, uh, my name is Matthias Susan. That's written somewhere here. Uh, I'm a freelance journalist, copy editor, blogger, and journalism trainer. And uh, I'm 40 years old. I live in Bremen, Germany. And um, I'm mainly active on German Wikipedia, but also contribute to comments. And um, Daniel will introduce himself. Yeah. Hi, I'm Daniel Shin. Uh, I work mainly on comments, but I actually do a lot of technical stuff. Um, I a little bit of experience with uh, video. I'm mostly here as the assistant for Android phones. If anybody needs help uh, setting up the apps and uh, using them with, uh, on, on Android. Uh, I'm, I'm from Germany, but I live in uh, the United States, Idaho, where there are lots of uh, scenery to film. So I guess one. Yeah. Learning and teaching uh, video is hard, as Andrew Lee is also Wikipedian and here around. Uh, he's a journalism professor from the US, and uh, he said, learning and teaching video is hard. I wrote, it's very easy to make a video with a smartphone. The truth is, it's both. <coughs> Start your app with your iPhone and or your other smartphone and uh, shoot a video, and that's it. But uh, it's very hard to make meaningful videos. Um, Usually, if someone goes to holiday and invites you afterwards uh, to come to him and watch some videos, uh, you might be bored because they always film like the whole scene and they don't uh, focus. And, uh, <coughs> yes, uh, <laughs> um, so this is what we want to change here, and that's what uh, I want to tell you today. And um, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to the subject and to the basic filming uh, thing. And then I'd like to hit the ground running. Um, from tomorrow, I'll be at the Wikimedia um, Deutschland stand at the community village every day from, let's say, 1 to 2 um, to um, um, to answer questions and give you some other advice if you have some questions. So, um, today I'm uh, going to show you the most important apps uh, for capturing and editing video on iOS. David will show their Android counterpart. Mm -hmm. You know that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will show some useful uh, accessories and uh, equipment. Um, I'll give you some general filming tips. Then I'll tell you how to get professional quali video quality from your smartphone. I call this the uh, five mantras of mobile journalists. Um, I will show you Michael Rosenblum's five shot method for meaningful uh, video sequences. Um, I give some tips for shooting dynamic video interviews. I will show how to work with the video editing app. And I'll show where you find music to the music around to put the music on the video. And I will show you how to uh, convert and upload the videos to comments. And then I'll provide a link section where you can find additional information. Um, the problem in Wikipedia is never that there is no manual. <laughs> there are tons of manuals for everything, especially video stuff and blah, blah, blah. It's hard to find that. And I found some interesting pages, so that's easier. So, um, <coughs> Let's start with a list of um, the best apps for shooting and editing videos. Everything I tell you today, uh, I wrote it down in a sub-page of my um, <coughs> <Mania. coughs> <Either> page. <coughs> yeah, this was the proposal. Yeah. Um, So, um, for shooting videos, the building a video camera app on the iPhone is great. 
Um, however, you want to learn more features, try to make parallels. I can share it with you. I can make my mobile with my computer. Here we are. So, you can do a lot of things with, uh, um, I don't know what device you have here. Um, a lot of journalists work with an iPhone, but it works as well with an Android phone. I'll show you the things on an iPhone. Um, you open the camera app, and what is very good to lock the focus, and also the exposure, if it's too dark, if it's too dark you can switch it to make it more bright or darker, as you like. So, this is the built-in camera app. And this is, I think, it's the most expensive app I have on my phone. It costs about 10 euros. Um, <coughs> the Filmic Pro, this is uh, the exposure. Here you can lock the focus. And it gives you also control to the device on the So This is a very good app for filming. <coughs> filming Pro. Filming Pro. You find the link all on this page here. Uh, and um, did you say something to the Android app? Or? I can, yeah. yeah. And it was your uh, Facebook account for me. Sorry? Where can I find the page? Ah, so my user page, I use my PS system in the Bash Workshop. Can you put my link to this page on your, on the Wikimania page? Yes, I'll do that later. I can do it now. Okay. <laughs> my smartphone was tiny and you're so big. You look at Apple Device. Watermark, they don't allow you to uh, export 
uh, in full HD resolution. Uh, so you might want to invest the amount of money that you spend on a copy uh, and, and just, just get the app. I, I think this one is five dollars. It's called. Uh, oops, sorry about that. It's called. Uh, 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 power director and have uh, a crap ton of awesome features uh, at its project. Allows you to put fits together, add, uh, uh, add sounds, uh, music, uh, etc. Do transitions uh, between videos, there's uh, no transition here, uh, and, and so on. So this is very powerful, allows you to export in HD and uh, doesn't put any watermarks in or anything. Okay. So I will restrain, but I will just show the app because I want to. I will show you later how to work with them. Um, so we have not this. Oops. So, um, whoops. Later. Um, um, for uh, editing video on iOS. The best free editor is called Fly. Uh, it's owned by GoPro, and in the future they might change and put their brand on something, but for the moment it's free. Um, they bought this uh, app, I think a half year, half a year ago, and removed all in-app um, in purchases. In-app purchases, uh, so um, for the moment it's good, and uh, as a lot of free apps, they come and go. So that might change in half a year, but for the moment it's fine. If you own a new iPhone, uh, it comes with iMovie, which is better, even better than uh, um, than Slide, but Slide is fine for everything what we want to do today. And um, <coughs> so, um, yeah, let's switch to the equipment. Um, this camera, or this device, or this device, or that device, or that device, whatever device you have, is the best camera you own. <laughs> it's not because of the quality, but you always, you usually always have it with you. So if something is happening somewhere, you can use it and film it and uh, make an uh, interesting film out of it. And uh, <coughs> what you, there are two more essentials you need. One is the tripod to have stable images. Um, Otherwise, it's very shaky. And uh, the other thing is a microphone, a Lego microphone or a handheld to have proper sound. Um, these ones you can buy for, I think, two, two four euros. <coughs> hmm? <Yeah. laughs> I don't know how much it dollars. <laughs> And um, the microphone mine was uh, 30, 30 euros, I think. Yeah. And it's good. So um, it's fine. Is that a Lavella microphone? Sorry? Is that a Lavella microphone? Uh, it's a Wally mic. It's a, yeah, it's a. It's a, it's a lab mic? Sorry? It's like a lab mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to try? Thank you. Thank you. I never tried, but I know that there is this option on YouTube, but I never tried. Um, um, there is, um, if you do film the pro, there is an uh, built-in um, If you do it here, it gives you a lot of more options on it to take a grid. And another one is here, have an image stabilization or not. Um, mm -hmm. and Hundreds of more options. <coughs> so I would like, I would prefer this, but uh, uh, wherever you can use a tripod. So, um, better option than this one <coughs> is a tripod with flexible legs. This one, because it's a, it's a 
the very expensive version of this one kernel, the Azulia version. And to the five and nine as well. This one says two years. So <laughs> um, we put it in there. Mm -hmm. And then if you like hold anything, you just um, put it around and do your job. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you, you find every, everywhere you find something which in a six year mobile um, on a pole or a fence or something uh, to have to do it uh, on ice or the tripod. Um, nice thing to have is a selfie stick. You can use it to follow yourself with the camera. It's uh, something you need a little bit of experience for it. If you want to show that you that you're moving from A to B or something and you tell it stick. Can you cast the image? can walk around and say blah, 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 I'm here in Berlin and I'm talking about whatever. Yeah. Or you can do it this way. Okay. This is me walking around to, um, in a new city and you see there and blah, blah, blah. Um, Nice to have other things with uh, the power bank because you're always low of energy. <coughs> uh, external storage is very useful. And um, if you have a digital camera, it's very nice to have a Wi Fi <coughs> card because you can transfer the images uh, from other the clips from the, uh, from the camera to the phone and cut everything together here and make it fit. <coughs> but this is something nice to have. <coughs> Still. Um. Let's switch to the general. Any questions still? Yeah. So. Well, what was the name of the, the Android uh, camera? The open source one? Uh, that's, uh, the open uh, oh, it's uh, open camera. Open camera, okay. Thank you. <coughs> so let's go to the, to the general filming tips. First thing is place the camera at the eye level of the uh, uh, so that you and the audience are on the same level. <laughs> <coughs> so, because otherwise it's like, <laughs> <laughs> or you're the god of hellfire. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> wide shots and uh, if you bring just wide shot footage to the cutter you will get crazy. And uh, <coughs> so shoot a lot of B roll. Um, detail things that happen around just uh, to have this later for um, 
transi transition scenes and uh, um, capture as much variety as possible. The uh, next thing is shooting sequences. I'll show you later uh, how it works. <coughs> and the next thing is the video files can get large very quickly. So um, before you go out checking your settings, how much space you have available. Um, try to have, let's say, half of the uh, device's capacity is free. And um, <coughs> if there isn't that much space left, you can record more if you reduce the resolution of your video. This is something you can do with Filmic Pro. I think you cannot do it with the camera app, the natural the built in camera app of the iPhone. On Android, you can. Okay. Good. <coughs> Respect the rule of thirds. Um, this is uh, another thing that's easier to do with uh, Filmic Pro because it shows your grip. Uh, and as in photography, it's good to place important things on one of the crossings of the line. <coughs> Makes a better image. Um, <coughs> sorry? Any questions? Uh, so, um, I don't know how much of you are using Snapchat, but uh, we don't. Uh, on <laughs> so make sure that you film horizontally. <laughs> <And> <laughs> <coughs> um, and then securely mount your smartphone to a tripod uh, and make sure that all the buttons are not covered and accessible. <coughs> um, so otherwise you might have problems with volume or some other settings. Um, connect an external and next one. I told you it's good to have an external one. Um, and. Uh, Place the microphone near the speaker's mouth. Um, ideally, like this one, uh, that one, you can take it to a shirt or something and uh, connect it to your mobile and send it. That's it. The sound quality. <coughs> um, so, now something what I can't do because I need the connection which you probably have to uh, put your phone in flight mode um, to avoid phone calls, uh, other distortion. Um, in, in Android, you can easily, uh, let's say, if you do not disturb mode, so you will never get any alarms or buzzing or whatever. Yeah, but sometimes you have problems with uh, some interference. Uh, appearances of oh. uh, Wi-Fi or uh, mobile, uh, oh. so it's better to switch it to um, flight mode. Oh. And switch everything off, every so um, you will not be interrupted by calls or text messages. <coughs> I like the focus. This uh, I showed you with the this the other app. You can easily do it by just tapping on something on your iPhone. And it likes the focus. If it's too dark, you can. <coughs> and mm, so, be aware of lighting. Uh, film from the light direction, which means uh, if I can we do it? Can you go there? Uh, <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> it's better to change the position and make it like right. so. Oh. So wait. So. Yeah. And now, my friend. If you're shooting handheld or without a tripod, it's something you can also do with the photo camera. Press your elbows to um, your wrist and uh, your arms tied against your body so you get much stable than filming this or this um, <coughs> way. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now the five mantras of Mojo, mobile journalists, um, how to get um, professional quality video with your smartphone. First rule, don't zoom. It's a digital zoom on every camera, so it's uh, crap. Um, if you have to zoom, zoom with your feet. So if you want to do closer, go closer. <coughs> um, don't pan for no reason. It's something people usually do when they are somewhere. They <coughs> and this is uh, very hard for uh, when you see later on. Uh, learn how to use the microphone properly. And uh, if you don't use uh, uh, a laser microphone or a handheld microphone, know where the microphone is. This device actually has three mo uh, microphones. One is here, one is here, and the other one is up there. So when you film, you should know which microphone is active. You can uh, switch it uh, in Filmic Pro, but uh, usually it's that microphone which is close to the camera. In Filmic Pro you can change it. Sometimes it's good when it's very windy and the wind blows in there. You switch the microphone to this one, which is more in the shade, um, gives you a better sound. <coughs> um, incorporate the rule of thirds, as I said, and um, the technology only works in service of story. So first the story, then the technology. And uh, now there's something um, I want to show you. It's uh, a method for meaningful, for shooting meaningful video sequences. It's called Mike, Michael Rosenblum developed it from the, I think it's from the BBC. Yes, it's from the BBC. And uh, it's called Five Shot Method. Um, <coughs> so um, first of all, we need an action to cover. And uh, <laughs> so next thing, where is it happening? So we shoot a, a wide shot of the. Uh, this is the problem with the light. Mm -hmm. Where do you? So another ten seconds, and don't talk because the uh, microphone. It's active <laughs> when you do this. And, uh, so, there's another show, and now we want to see what you're writing then. So, this right. I'm done. <laughs> now you're never done. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> So 
So now we have five sequences. Um, they don't show you why he's doing it, and they don't show how he's doing it. They just show that he's doing something there, he's writing. Um, but uh, it's much more interesting to see a lot of different views of the same thing than watching mm, for a minute the same image. So, um, <coughs> I did a checklist. Angrily did a checklist for this five shot method, and I asked him if I can give it to you. And he gently said, of course. So, if you like to. Um, We need more. Um, I can do a copy and bring it uh, tomorrow to the um, Wikimedia search and back. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm wondering about the uh, five home shots. The, the four is the incorporate the rule of third. Yeah. And uh, I have you admitted to explain this? Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 That means that you um so um you have a more dynamic image if you place the most important things on one of the crossings of this line here. Um oh could you explain it? Um, yeah, so this is basically a composition rule. Uh, you see as a grid that uh, uh, split the, the screen up into nine segments. Grid lines cross that, uh, like where the section is drawn to, um, usually. So a good composition. Well, a good composition is a very simple rule of thumb: is to put like a face onto one of the crossing points, or like the eyes of your interview subject. So don't put them dead center. That looks kind of boring. Put them a little off center onto the. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So you're pointing oh. the nose? No. The eyes? No. I tried to point the eyes, but he's moving and jumping <laughs> on the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> this was um, for him it's much easier to explain this in English. That was the five shot method, so we have some tips where we can work with and put them together in a to, uh, short video sequence. Should we do that simultaneously on both points? Yeah, if you like to. But you don't have, oh, you have five. I, yeah, I, I took five okay. shots earlier. So, so you can fix both. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Um, <coughs> something with the free like sexes. Um, yeah. The last one is record 10 seconds uh, for each shot. Don't yeah. move while you're shooting. So when you're interviewing someone, the shots are normally longer. Um, so how do you stop in between? Sorry? When, when you were? When you're interviewing someone. Interview yeah, yeah, this is nothing for the interview. For the interview, you, interview, you, you um, you a different one. Yes. Okay. This is just to cover an action. Oh. Just to, oh, sorry. Don't worry. <coughs> okay. I have a question because, uh, you know, this video is very important to be in Wikipedia. So I believe that, you know, a screen, maybe the first of it could be better, no? So yeah, it might change in the future, but uh, for the moment, um, I prefer, and most of the people prefer, uh, so I you do it up and running with user, whether by himself. But I believe that, you know, okay, if the, the pyramid, uh, the pyramid format mm -hmm. is going to the wall Wikipedia, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. maybe so we have 360 degrees, it doesn't matter anymore, because you have to 360 degrees mm -hmm. if you have a touch, uh, other eyes or, uh, and, uh, um, in vertical or in horizontal format. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, sorry, I don't know your name. Um, you asked. Um, 
um, I told you, it doesn't show why he's doing something, right? Um, it's yeah. something you have to ask later on, and uh, this is why I told you, shoot a lot of people when you do yeah. something, you put it on then, and... Um, <coughs> Okay, I'll start with slides and you um, play something on your... I, yeah, I can follow that like that. Okay. So it loads up the clip. Yeah, the same here. Um, create the preview from slides. You start a new project by tapping on the plus button. Then you select the thing you want to use. And put the clip in the right order. Um, ignore this window. It has a lot of very, very nice um, music clips, but you can only use them for personal purpose. So they're useless for you. <coughs> so um, you choose the, uh, the screen. It's in German, but uh, in English it's very easy to understand. Um, you choose your favorite transition. And the best thing is to use no transition. It makes it more interesting film than um, with sound here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is already done, basically. There might be something to trim. Yes, it's uh, what I do in the next. So uh, okay. this is why you choose uh, your favorite transition. And uh, this is your next transition. If you need to use a transition to put things together who aren't fitting together, really. So uh, this is... Um, don't need them. <laughs> so now we have the uh, screen with all the clips, the five clips I shot of the um, screen. And uh, uh, if I tap on one of these tiles, I have three options. Um, first of all, is to edit video. If I type on it, uh, the magic shot is the last one. Yeah? So you can reorder it just by tapping on the tile and Move where you like to have it. So, um, power director, move, 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 If I type on one of type on one of these third uh, aisles, I have this option to add a video. And coming on this screen, you can turn the video, show the thing, and of course you can uh, watch before you turn it. So and we use at least three seconds of this clip. Um, just to show you what the other uh, options are, um, you can uh, add some filters on, on if you don't need it. <laughs> we are working for comments, so there's no need for these filters, I think so. Mm, you can speed up or slow down the video. You can add some text, uh, subtitles, whatever you like. Or some, uh, Different uh, fonts. And you can sum apply something that's called the Cambrian effect. Do you know the Cambrian effect? Tuning and moving images. Yes. The ball corners that kind of burn to it? No, no, Ken Burns is the name of the uh, yeah. documentary oh, okay. guy. So it's when you have a slideshow that's not just showing pictures, the pictures are zooming in a little, ah, zooming yeah. out and moving, yeah. make it a little more dynamic. Yeah. Like the Mac screen saver. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And you can use this for uh, video tips as well. You can zoom in or out while it's showing the video. And uh, but it's, uh, the most interesting thing is if, if you um, add a video, it makes it more interesting if it's not just there. Um, or it's more interesting to to to, to see a uh, slightly movement of the image. 
<coughs> so, um, so you film the video, you have three seconds of this one. So here we have to see which is the best part. It doesn't allow you to use your own audio. Um, yeah, I'll yeah, show you later. Okay. So, uh, so it's uh, a little bit of focus problem, but it's just for showing you. Yeah. Okay, and uh, if you filmed all the shit, you just have uh, the option to go to the um, to watch a first version of your experience, which I'm okay. <laughs> and as I told you, don't talk when you do something. It's So, um, there's one more option I want to show you here. It's, uh, you can adjust the, um, the fact that, um, what kind of, um, the rush? The sound level? The sound, yeah, that's uh, what is the one? The version? Oh, the background noise? The background noise here, um, just by, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah. It's, um, yeah, you can do that here, of course, as well. Just a little audio mixer. Uh, change the amount of video sound that you want and the amount of uh, music and voice over tracks. So once you've finished your um, video editing, you switch to audio, which is here, and it gives you three sound, sound layers. Yeah. Three sound layers. Uh, uh, one is used for music or for effects. Oh, two are used for music or for effects. Um, so let's put some kind of music on here for alternatives. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. And now. Uh, What happens to the same chip if you add different music on it? Um, what's your preferred music? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you have to experiment with this and uh, you have to 
Just the audio can find free music. So if you try to use uh, music mm -hmm. which is already there in the video, that you have shot, because this music probably are all copyrighted, it's, and I think it, it, it's a difficult thing when you use that. Yeah. Okay, so how do, how do you use a music that you have recorded in your in your phone? Uh, sorry? How do you use the music inspired that you have recorded? Yes. Yeah, um, there's uh, there are two uh, uh, types of music. You can also um, add music from iTunes. Uh, you have to add put some. Uh, that they can copyright it. No, 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 no. You can uh, um, you can put the um, credit some music files to your iTunes library, and then you can open it. Oh, okay. uh, I did this with another clip. I'll show you later. Just uh, wait, and there you need to uh, create some music. <coughs> okay. Yeah. So um, so so this one this layer is for effects, and uh, you can use them, and uh, you shouldn't use for your shooting a documentary, not a movie, so uh, no sound effects. Uh, and uh, this button here is for a wipe over. And um, if you put it, it starts three seconds, and then you can usually start, and you can say blah, blah, blah. That's what it doesn't work at the moment. <laughs> Hello. And um, so you can easily um, go on with the interview and the next step and ask him something. What is he doing? Why are you doing? And this is. So this brings me to the next point tips for shooting dynamic uh, video interviews. First and most important thing, if you want to 
where if you wish to film someone, always ask for some information. Uh, and if someone doesn't want to be filmed, respect it. <coughs> Second thing is know your interview location and how to get there. <coughs> um, pay attention on the background, as, as I showed you with the window. Um, it's good to have the sun or the light <coughs> in the back of you. <coughs> Um, also, white walls often are a problem if you place someone in front of a white wall. It's a slide we always show them. Uh, try to search, uh, train your eyes and search for an interesting background. Uh, <coughs> someone's talking about the building something to show the back, uh, show them in front of this uh, environment. Mm -hmm. and <coughs> um, as I told you before, the eye line of the subject and the camera um, should be on the same level and you should place the camera next to your shoulder and during the interview, the subject or, uh, they should uh, look at you and not into the camera. It's very strange if you look in the camera uh, during the interview. <coughs> uh, very important check if the microphone is working properly. So uh, it's good to have um, yeah, headphones. Headphones, yeah. Uh, so, um, so very cheap. Cheap and always to have alternative for a microphone is uh, to use a headset, which comes with almost a uh, uh, summary. <laughs> Um, it's better than nothing. If you don't have a microphone, you can have that and uh, play this close to the picture. So, um, avoid unwanted background noises. Uh, airplanes flying overhead, shopping mall music, the noise from an air conditioner or, or a computer fan can mess up everything. And you might become problems if you record or if you shoot this where you have music in the background because of copyright issues. So avoid it wherever you can. <coughs> and if there is a strange sound and you can't avoid it, uh, show the source. It's better to know when you watch a clip uh, where the strange sound is coming from than uh, if you don't see it, but uh, you are always looking for it. <coughs> yes. um, make sure that uh, your subject feels comfortable. Um, Talk to your guests a few minutes before and after the interview. Um, and ask open-ended questions. Questions that can be answered with yes or no are just endless um, questions. Um, they don't contain much information of real value. Long questions are good. And I believe it's another um, Checklist for shooting. I link them all on the page, but uh, if you want a printed version, it's here. So, um, <coughs> for the Okay. 
What I did is um, what I did is uh, there is uh, uh, a sample review for a video interview from from uh, a university in Mexico. I'm not a um, legal expert, but uh, can you put this to be uh, beta DMS? Sorry? Can you put this space to be beta DMS? Your yeah, it's it's uh, oh. okay. If I uh, find um, a link section here, a further reading, and uh, I try to find this solution and to find the legal conditions here. And um, I asked. Uh, several people who do video on comments. If it is a problem when we use the, the phones on our phones and uh, uh, for um, title sequences or something, and they say no. And uh, I found this here. Uh, and if I understand this sentence, it's a, it's a common thing on comments that uh, Actual use of the time is not restricted. So I think it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, you find here a lot of other tutorials how to make a short documentary, and uh, um, this is a very I have a list of this uh, <coughs> video project in Wikipedia and uh, <coughs> may I ask you a question about the flyer? Yes. Uh, is there any explanation on why we don't cross the line of action? Uh, yeah. Um, there's no explanation, but it's, uh, it's very strange if you watch the clip and you see it the whole time the, the, um, you shoot one side of the face and you jump the other side, uh, face to side, it's uh, strange to, to view. So it's like uh, we make, we, most of the time we see the, off, we see the stage hmm? on one side, but not 360 degrees. Yeah, you know, when you shoot the, the sequences, it's like you are viewing something and uh, you usually view it from one side. You don't walk around and blah, blah, blah. And uh, so it's, uh, it's, you do very short uh, cuts. So um, we have three seconds and then it's strange when you stand on the other side. Uh, okay. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about using your headphone while shooting. You yeah. listen to uh, the interview you yeah. it. But in a normal phone uh, headphone, it doesn't really, you know, you can't really hear when the Someone and it's recording. Can you hear it? Yes, sir. You need um, uh, a of course, like, um, uh, uh, a soft one. A soft one? Switch? Switch or hub uh, that can split uh, the oh, uh, timing? Um, yeah. It's little, yeah. You can, you can buy it, I think it's uh, 7 euros or something. Uh, Plug it in there, and then, then you have two um, tracks uh, for your headphone. One for your headphone, and the other one for your microphone. Yeah. Do you have any idea what the specs for an Android phone are for to be able to use it from open camera? Mm -hmm. Specifications. Yeah. Yeah, 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 sure. So uh, my phone is like half a year old, so it's probably kind of new and works great, but. I I used to have a Moto X, which is like two and a half years old now, and it's fine as well. Uh, I don't know what you have. Well, um, right now the one that I have is a Samsung Galaxy 1 gigabyte of RAM, and uh, it's dual core, it's not quad core. Um, I'm going to try. I mean, this yeah. costs nothing. 
And the iPhone which sometimes can download older versions of the same software which uh, have limited uh, um, options because they yeah. can't help it anymore. Uh, but can several apps I have here on this iPhone 6 uh, can find older versions for the iPhone 4. So it might be a chance to have this one. Uh, and I'm sorry, one, one more uh, question. You, you make this like a departure, you have it published. Right? Is it like, like you use on a computer, I use on a video editing on, on, on the PC. So you have a project mm -hmm. and your timeline and mm -hmm. you make all your edits and then you have it published. You render it, yeah. You render it, yeah. And you, well, you render it and then you have it published in like MPG or AV or in uh, WMV. Uh, so what, what do you publish? What format do you publish into? That's the next step. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, sorry, I. I then before the next step, can I uh, also uh, learn uh, about how you monitor the audio by, uh, can you hear what recording you just, uh, on iOS, you just put your earphone and you can hear? Okay, yeah. uh, well, I don't understand the question. No, I mean, I mean, um, it's so it's like like about the same question that I ever said. Like live listening to the audio feed, right? You need a you need a, a, a switch, 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 yeah. which uh, does the signal to for the headphone and for the microphone, so you can uh, listen to uh, what you are recording when you are recording. Otherwise, the second thing is uh, I forgot it at home. So what I have to do is um, shoot something, then plug up the microphone, listen to it, and then. I can hear what's uh, going on, but the easier way is uh, to record at the same time. To buy a splitter. To buy a splitter. <laughs> it's not very expensive. It's, uh, so it looks like one male here and then two females, so you're sliding one to the microphone and the other one to the headphone. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. One more question. Is there a way to be able to control the level between the, um, if the video, the, uh, the voice level of the interview and the background music? Yeah. Uh, we have a question. Uh, yeah, my next one is. Uh, and you're just a different segment. I mean, sometimes you don't want the audio level to be the same throughout the video. So can you change it from from section to section so that it's higher and lower? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So um, the uh, the voiceover is one sound. So mm -hmm. can uh, in uh, slides. In other programs, you can uh, what you can do whatever you want to uh, make it more silent or louder. But in slides, you can for the voice of the sound, um, you adjust them here. Mm -hmm. One, and for the clip, um, for <laughs> In, uh, if it's gone, it's done yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, For the clip, you can do it in uh, every clip. If you go to the edit screen, and there is this button on the right, and then you can um, mm. yeah. adjust the level of the background with a sound. So in Android, uh, I can select one of my audio clips. This is in multiple parts here. Uh, oops, if I click on it. Hit the edit button and change the volume of the particular segment. Oh, you can do segments? Yeah, yeah. And then go here and individually edit the volume of the second segment. So that's with open camera, right? 
No, that's uh, PowerDirector. Open Camera is only for taking the video. PowerDirector is for uh, for cutting the video. PowerDirector is the same same program. The same program as the PC version. Uh, I think yeah, there is a PC version of PowerDirector. Yeah. And this is something you can do with the with iMovie. Um, if you have a new one, it comes a new iPhone. It comes with iMovie. If you have another one, you have to pay for your ninety nine for it. And uh, <coughs> so, and once you're finished the um, the video, and that was the next question, I guess, uh, how to upload it to some place. Um, you push this button, and you can directly upload to Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, but we don't want to upload to YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. We want to upload to some. Well, we. Resolution, which is HD, in the iPhone 6. Um, yeah. Now it's rendering, but it feels very fast. So, and now you find your, your clip. There are several options. Um, to download the uh, video, do it with an app called um, um, Video Video Converter. What what format is this? This one? Yeah. Uh, most. 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 Or M4 yeah. No, no, they don't accept it. So that's why we have converted it. But we can do that then. Is it a tool to automatically? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You need a very stable connection and I to um, show you later. But uh, I prefer, first of all, um, to convert the mirror video converter. And uh, so where are the clips? Um, So just drag a video here. You choose the format. Video. That it's in a, it's an open source program, but it isn't. It not to be. They don't develop it anymore. So it's a node version, but it's still. I think one of the most easiest tools to use for it. That's why I use it. But um, you have to change the resolution of the video manually here to <coughs> full HD format, which is one on Otherwise, it would downscale your video. Um, You want to do it directly mm -hmm. and go to a website, find out it. You find the link all in the script. 
uh, kind of video conversion. Mm. It does not show it on this thing. Huh? It does not show it. Ah, just I think the class is gone as well. Yeah, it is. <coughs> Yeah, here you go. Style description, set uh, the quality, uh, have all the rights of everything, uh, the location is set by the camera. There are a lot of things, it's kind of automatical. So, oh, I can set the options up for the text as well, so that it's just going to be fun. Uh, and this, I guess, converts it. Yeah. I may have a video short. So this is happening on the server, it's not happening on your phone. So if you have a Wi-Fi connection, so see, it's quite nice. If you do add files on Android, you can select documents, you can select the folder you want to go in. If I use the PowerDirector folder, which I rendered the video mm -hmm. to, just tap on the video, uh, and it goes ahead and uploads it. The full size is 35 megabytes, so I should probably delete the other one. Okay. Oops, it's for a second form. Sorry? <laughs> <laughs> the, the bar just went ah. in the other direction. Okay, it's a computer. Yeah, it's a bytes back. <laughs> My phone. I remember. Uh, oh, there's no <laughs> Zoom. Yeah. Well, we don't have to watch the game bar, but this is basically how it works. Mm -hmm. Then one tap uh, basically uploads it after it's it's converted to com for you. You can basically do every step in the workflow with your phone and end up with an uploaded video on comments. Oh. So, yeah, and you find all these mm -hmm. links here. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Here. Um, on the video converter or um, also um, the link to um, uh, the Miro video mm -hmm. converter, uh, the help page in common, the help page in German, um, and the uploading process. Um, the maximum power size on common is set to uh, 100 megabytes for the moment, as far as I know. Two, year, two oh, gigabytes. Two gigabytes. Oh, okay. Then it can't upload. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, my, my last term, uh, that's what I knew, was uh, it is possible to upload more than 100 megabytes at the same time, but you have to know someone. Yeah, so the, the video uploader has a 2 gigabyte limit. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, so you should show these guys the video that you made with your cell phone yes. for this occasion. Um, I think there must be a way to have some sound. Um, there is sound. Yeah, but we can plug this here. No, no, it's all, it, it came with sound. Can you? Yeah. 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 Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, no. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe. Is it just in there? Um, as you might notice, my English is not that good. Um, so I did the video in German, but it's very understandable. So well, you can try if the speaker is weak enough. Yeah. I think the speaker might be enough. Um, and uh, it just tells the story, and this is what we have to do, or what you have to do when you do a video. You have to tell the story, and um, <coughs> this is the next part of my uh, script. Um, <coughs> um, so every good story needs a, needs a hero. In this case, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, <coughs> And if you were doing something strange, something unexpected, and the story of this video is um, that I tell something like, hi, my name is Matthias, and I usually write uh, articles on Wikipedia, but today I want to try something very new for me. I want to shoot a video. And then I explain.
explain a little bit what I'm doing uh, all the time. That's what I told you here, and uh, try to do it. And at the end, I tell try it out on your own. And uh, that's the story of the video. Uh, Five shot thing, uh, different perspectives, and so on. Uh, <laughs> it's very, it's not, with normal search engine, it's, it's 
you can not possibly to search by file type or something. Yeah? No, I think it's just genus. There's genus in fact common voice to be a different genus of music. And uh, it, it needs a little bit of patience. It didn't take me more than five minutes. Yeah, actually, I think there are magic words, and then you just have to search too. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, you uh, have to know the yeah. magic words, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it should be easier, everything there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, last thing I want to do. Any questions, Julia? So, more questions. Um, so, when it comes to, like, your video, I, I, what I always want to do is, like, uh, and uh, I am wondering if there are any, uh, I, I want to comment that, uh, first of all, I'd, I'd like to translate subtitles using a website called Amara. Yes, you know, that's what the um, most common thing is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I haven't tried to uh, use a uh, comment to, to, to put the link on Amara, because I think he, uh, they accept um, uh, YouTube and uh, uh, we, uh, video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, uh, is there any, uh, subtitle program or, uh, website service can, uh, support comments file? I think you can do with that, but, uh, I have to, um, mm -hmm. where is it? I have, I've seen it somewhere, but I don't really have yeah, it. Because I, I think it supports HTML5 video source. So, yeah, it should be. But uh, I, 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 I don't know how to. Uh, there is a, um, there is a manual somewhere there. I'll try to find the manual and uh, put the, the link on the website. Uh, uh, yeah. Because what, what it did with, with me, and I, I'm so like, uh, yeah, I'm not scared this with my community. But first of all, it, it requires like a translation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's like an additional, uh, uh, additional thing that I can add up only by typing the time text. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Question or comment? So um. My thing is very, very important before you start filming, think about what you want to film. Um, don't go somewhere and say, oh, I'll see what happens there and I'll there with the camera and oh, uh, start if you have a plan before and you go out and shoot this stuff. Uh, think about the five shots, uh, think about other special things you have to show. Um, <coughs> so, um, before you start, develop your best idea, choose a subject and uh, it's very good to start with something you're passionate about because it's a lot of work to uh, cut and uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, you can make a storyboard. Yes. There's templates on the internet and templates. Yes, I have uh, And uh, they're very convenient. You can get like uh, four by three or four by four or different sizes and different uh, shots of storyboards. Yeah, I have a sample script. Uh, I have a sample script. Yeah. Uh, usually it's divided into three parts. Um, first of all, first column is to uh, fill in what you want to shoot. You describe the images you want to shoot. Uh, the second column is uh, the, the voice over text you want to say, and uh, the third column is uh, the sound, the background sound. If you use the background sound of the, the ambience, uh, or if you uh, the background sound, uh, what do you write on there? <coughs> so, <coughs> mm. so, I 
Uh, if I told you it, we have to tell stories, uh, it's good to, to have a hero, a strong beginning, the middle, and the end. Um, it's also called set of confrontation and resolution. So first of all, you introduce your hero and you tell something what he's doing today, or special. Then he's doing it, and then he did something like, okay, it was very interesting for me because I uh, had much experience with him. whatever you like. <coughs> um, if you have problems with it, uh, you should uh, uh, watch other documentaries. Um, there's a German journalist who um, became uh, questions uh, from the audience uh, to things that happened all over the world. And one of the questions was, how to become a Bollywood star. So he went to India and I uh, uh, have to do this because it's impossible to. So he's in India uh, and uh, I tried to find. So the second thing is check uh, legal and copyright issues. If you go somewhere, as I told you, check if there's sound in the back around or uh, music or something, uh, if there are any copyright protections. Um, Start the research. Uh, you have to think about who, what, when, and where do you want to film. <coughs> and find the most important uh, person uh, and identify the most interesting people to talk to. Um, <coughs> and then ask them if they have the time to talk to you and if they want to. <coughs> and plan questions and start with the five W's. So questions uh, which are what happened, who did that, when did it take place, where did it take place, why did it happen, and if you like, how did it happen. So and then we bring some questions around these. Um, <coughs> um, so and plan as much as possible. As I told you before you go out, think about the image you need and should just be open for something unexpected, but usually it's good to have an idea what you want to shoot. <coughs> And uh, the ideal video length in the internet is usually two or three minutes, not more. So keep it short and keep it simple. Mm -hmm. And make every second count as I put it. Um, so, yeah, write a voice over text, as I told you. Uh, to uh, draw or write mm -hmm. fresh shots of the story in class. And uh, <coughs> then you shoot it, and we review it. Uh, shoot from different angles and uh, um, mm -hmm. and watch all your footage you have and write down what shots what shots particularly like and what uh, which shots are completely or partly unusable. Then you edit the film <coughs> and uh, show to some of your friends when you have the raw cut. Just have an uh, impression how it is, how the think the video is and um, use their comments to make the videos uh, better. <coughs> Eight. Check once again legal and copyright issues. Sometimes you see them there. Uh, not the first time. 
and then um, upload your film to Common by using one of these apps I showed you directly or by converting on your computer and then uploading it. And um, that's it for the moment. Uh, after the internet shows and then edit the videos on a computer, um, and you have uh, in a, a video interview of a person, and that person is using a lot of fillers or something in between which you don't want in the video, you want to chop them out. And when you cut that portion, there is always you know, that um, um, abrupt move from one shot to another shot. And you normally use a couple of transitions like um, Zooming in, that doesn't really match with the audio because the audio is something else and the video you have the transition. So how do you match those things? Um, this is something you can do. Um, you can, yeah, let's do it the other way. This is something you can do with iMovie. Um, mm -hmm. You just uh, layer another video um, layer on top of the interview sequence. Mm -hmm. So you can cut off that things there and uh, if he's talking about planes, just show a plane or something, blah, 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 and you can have the... Uh, well, let me just hold it last yeah. one, and then you have the connection yeah. in between. It makes uh, the, the video much more interesting you know, to see for half an hour the same face talking mm -hmm. something. It's better to have something happening there. Wait, you mean you can take the audio from the video and put it in a separate, a separate section of the timeline? Yes. And cut in between and add other scenes? Yes. In iMovie. In iMovie. And, and I think it might be possible. I don't know. Premium and other programs also have the same option. Um, but the, I wasn't actually mm -hmm. talking about the technology. I was talking about the, I was asking about the uh, problem that you face in the, you know, entire, um, uh, like it's, it, it kind of is an ad uh, break in between uh, when it happens like that. Um, it doesn't look natural at times. Um, uh, there is a transition, but there is no transition in the audio. The audio kind of breaks in between. So how do you match that audio? Ah, okay, but uh, this is um, the normal background sound of this uh, moment. Um, Uh, to 
put it into the menu? Or what? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 you want me to translate it? Uh, you can just put the, the word. And I can use like Google Translate and... Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, yeah, I, because I think I, it, you've already mm -hmm. uh, had the script. Yeah. And I can do the timeline. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'll put this on, on, the, on the workshop material. There are still a lot of 
Uh, I showed you this little website uh, with the Commons uh, video project. I, um, I think it's not easier to find it there. Um, you see here, uh, VTV, we click and click, open things, comments video, comments graphics, uh, da da da, video, comments audio and video requests, comments um, media help, da da da, so, and so on. So there are tons of uh, pages like this, and uh, of course I can do it. I think it's not, um, the visibility will not be seen much better. Well, it's yeah. such a worry, not maybe it's not that in, in a toolkit format. Which kind? In a what? In a tool, toolkit. There are, on Meta, there are huh? several kinds of toolkits. What can happen to the footage beyond this recording here from this session? It's still recording. Uh, so where is it going to end up? So first it's it's about Looser, a live stream. Yeah, it's linked from both the, the, the page on the program and on the video page on Ultimania. And I'm going to try to upload it to comments as well. Do you have it like the, after the work uh, in the workshop material page? It's in the it's description it's of the. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.